How do you actually improve at privilege escalation? How do you actually get to the point where, you know, you got your initial shell and you're able to, you know, I wouldn't say effortlessly because nothing is effortless in this field, but, you know, pretty easily and pretty systematically, you know, elevate your privileges to root or administrator on Windows, right? This is gonna cover both of those. What's up guys, this is Ryan from Elevate Cyber. I'm sure this is a question in a lot of people's minds, especially if you're going for OSCP. And this used to be one of my, you know, most hated areas. I hated privilege escalation. It was like one of the hardest things for me um, early on. And uh, this is the advice that uh, I wish I had back then. And I'm going to give it to you here today. So how do you actually, how do you actually learn this, right? Now, obviously... Let me get the obvious thing out of the way. The more you do it, the easier it'll get, obviously. But, you know, with security in general, right? With offensive cybersecurity in general, part of part of the learning process is you have to be willing just to struggle a bit, honestly. And a lot of people don't like this. I was one of those people that I, I just wanted to look things up in the beginning. But you really got to, I'm not saying that looking things up is bad, but you don't want to be overly reliant upon looking things up. You need to put yourself through the struggle a little bit, through the uh, bashing your head against the wall and trying to figure out, find a way over this obstacle, around this obstacle, whatever the case may be. Because what I've found and what you will find as well is that when you put yourself in those situations... First of all, if you want OSCP, you're going to be in that situation. And there won't be a walkthrough available on the exam, obviously, right? Second of all, you know, the more you put yourself in that situation, the more comfortable and composed you're going to be in that situation. Imagine imagine um, fighting, right? If, uh, if you fight someone on the street and you've never been in a fight before, you've never done martial arts, never did anything, you're going to be like, you're going to be like clenching up. You're going to be... It's going to, you're not going to be a clear mind. You're not going to be calm. You're not going to be composed. So, you know, you're going to be acting like really erratically. You're going to be gassing yourself out. And if that guy has fighting experience that you're up against, you're probably going to, probably going to get beat up pretty bad, right? Now, on the other hand, if you've trained martial arts, you've been, you know, you sparred, right? Active, you know, you've been in these fighting situations, then, I mean, of course your adrenaline's still going to be going, but you're going to be a lot more composed, collected, and a lot more efficient with your movements because you've been there before. You've been in this situation. It's not completely new to you. So for that reason alone, yeah, you got you to gotta struggle a bit. Don't just look up the answers right away. But that's, you know, that can apply to the CTF stuff in general, right? To the certification stuff in general, on the job in general, right? What about more targeted advice on privilege escalation? Well, you want to learn the common misconfigurations, okay? So pay attention to like the base case as well. Like when when it's secure, what does it look like versus when it's not secure, right? Like for example, with set UID, right? If we're talking Linux privilege escalation, you want to be familiar with what binaries on the system should be uh, set UID. Right, and if you don't know what I'm talking about when I say all this stuff, you're a beginner. Don't worry about it. Basically, what I'm saying is, you need to know what is the normal case on an operating system. So, like when you're looking through for a, a way to escalate your privileges from a user account to the root account, that you know, um, you know, so that when you see something that's out of the ordinary, it sticks out to you, right? Because the problem when you first start out on this is something will be way out of the ordinary, but you don't know what the ordinary is, so it doesn't stick out in any way, and you're just lost and confused. So that is where, you know, just struggling through this stuff is going to help you a bit more. And a bit of advice that I've gotten recently that I've heard, and I definitely agree with this, is one of the best ways to learn privilege, privilege escalation is when you're going through your results. Say you run LinPs or Linenum or on Windows, like a WinPs or Seatbelt. You run an enumeration script, you get all this data back. If you see something you don't know, Google it. Find out what it is, what the service is or program is, what it does, what it's used for. 
and uh, if it's vulnerable in any way. And by learning about the things that, you know, maybe you don't get lucky, what you found was just a normal process on the system that isn't vulnerable. Well, now you learn something about that process. So the next time you are trying to do privilege escalation, you see that service running, you're like, oh, okay, no, this is normal. This is uh, used for this, and that's why it's there. And then you keep doing that and you keep accumulating. A lot of this is accumulating knowledge over time. You keep accumulating this knowledge and eventually what you're going to start to notice is you're going to be way more familiar and comfortable with the Linux operating system, Windows operating system, whatever, right? And when there is something that's configured out of the ordinary, it's going to jump out to you a lot more because now you know what the base case is, right? So learn the base case, right? But yeah, you definitely have to get in the reps a lot of, for a lot of this is getting in the reps to learn the irregularities. And a bonus tip I would like to give uh, is there's really solid resources on privilege escalation, uh, both Windows and Linux uh, on Udemy. Uh, the course is by Tiberius. So if you go to Udemy and type in like uh, Linux privilege escalation or Windows privilege escalation, he has two courses, one for Linux, one for Windows. And he especially made it to target common uh, vulnerabilities you would find on the OSCP for privilege escalation. So definitely check that out and become familiar with the different privilege, uh, privilege escalation vectors. And the more familiar you are and the more reps you get in practicing exploiting them, the better you're going to be, right? And also, I've done, I believe I've done some privilege escalation videos back in the day on this channel probably should do some more here soon. Let me know in the comment section below if you would like to see me make some content on some privilege escalation stuff on this channel. Uh, that would be pretty cool to set up in a little lab environment where I'm showing you how you identify it, how you exploit it for various ones, right? Um, but yeah, I have videos that I've done back in the day on certain privilege escalation vectors, um, mostly on Linux. I don't think I've done any Windows ones, but yeah, check those out as well because the more of the privilege escalation um, vulnerabilities you expose yourself to, then you're going to be building up that database of, and take good notes on it for sure too. We'll, we'll talk about notes in another video, but yeah, that's a great way to retain it, take notes. Um, but if you do that and you keep accumulating this knowledge, then when you're in the situation, you'll be like, oh, I remember back when I watched this video, uh, there was this potential vector and because this was configured this way it was exploitable let me check oh yeah it's like that on this system too let me exploit this and now i'm root right so a lot of this stuff you just got to build it up over time and you guys can do it for sure just uh just stick at it man get the reps in and uh you'll be good to go so hopefully this video helped you guys out if so be sure to subscribe and uh hit the like button as well to help out in the algorithms and if you want to get into some of the technical content like we're talking about here i have those videos on screen for you right now so i'll see you over there thanks for watching